Even her husband didn't know how to handle a horse. I didn't realize until we got there that he owned two horses. So I started asking questions about the other horse. What's the status of Strut? And he said, well, I own that horse. He gave that horse to me. And I said, well, show me your bill of sale. And he goes, well, I don't have that. And I said, well, you need a bill of sale. And then about that time, this guy shows up in a little truck. The person that bought Strut is a friend of mine. And it was a bill of sale and everything was there. I don't think if, uh, if even if I didn't have the paperwork, I was gonna let her take that horse. But then a weird thing happened. This little mini came up and got up under and started giving the stallion a blowjob. It was the strangest thing I've ever seen, ever. I didn't get home until much, much later that evening and hadn't really paid too much attention to Mr. Hands. We did acknowledge each other's existence. I had to leave. My boss was out of town, and I was taking care of his horses at his place. It was around 10, 11 o'clock, and usually I feed them at 8 o'clock. I went over there, I'd been drinking. I was hungry, so I ate something. Well, that was my downfall, because as soon as I eat, I just pass out. Something bad happened out there. I don't think Mr. Hands knew this particular animal very much. And I don't think the, the gentleman that was with him was really attuned to that animal as well. It wasn't until around uh, 5.15, 5.20 in the morning that he made the announcement that he needed to go to the hospital right away. If I had just the slightest inclination that something was wrong, he would have ended up in the hospital immediately. He could have been out in the barn with his horse. He could have been out there with my horse. I'm not saying he was. I'm not saying he wasn't. Like I said, I was not there. Please don't let this happen. And then I noticed that his lips were changing color. You need to go out in the pasture with a bunch of horses. They're gonna come to you. They're gonna see who you are. And see what they do to you. I can't think about it anymore. That's what you need to do. In the Z direction, multiplied by the exponent, the irrational number of the constant K. And that was good news. <laughs> multiplied by Z minus the tangent. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't just stop working. I mean... And I can't do it. I cannot... I know another guy that used to work at the Black Hole. Does he have any identification? The same place that Mr. Hams did. He made a ripple. So they fired him. Mr. Hams was building antennas. He told me all about this one he just did and how it works really well. And they're really proud of him at the company. He was liking that. But I think it really he wanted to do was get away from that. I want to be a farmer. He wanted to be like me. It's actually a beautiful mountain. There's a picture of a deer head on the side. So the throat and the horns. Once I found it, I couldn't see Mount Rainier for years. All I could see was that deer head. It took me a long time to look around that deer head to see Mount Rainier again. I know he really loved his brother. I think that's why he kept talking about it and talking about it. He told me a lot about the things that they found in the apartment. He was really mulling it over in his mind. And he actually found um, a uh, cast of Strut's penis. All right, we did a lot of research. We got a lot of phone calls. We pulled together a lot of information. And uh, here is what we have. We have an employee, now deceased, who worked at Boeing Corporation, named Kim. There was nothing that they could really screw us down with. Who will just basically defame you into oblivion. Your names will be posted all over the place. My secret is out now. Everybody in the world knows what I did. I was evil. I was evil because I I had a love for my animals more than most people do. Go away. We don't want anything to do with you. Just get out of our sight. I wanted just to walk away from it, leave it in the past, in the past. 
because I had it made. I had the job of a lifetime. At 50, it's hard to start over again. I studied Buddhism for about three years. It's been around hell a lot longer than God was ever around. I still chant to this day. So I got my uh, beads out and my book out. You can wish it away. But you have to concentrate. I still want to do the farm life. 